Hey everyone, I'm Lorenzo and welcome to the first volume of Racing Games for the Nintendo GameCube. The first game, Auto Modelista, feels like a mixture of Initial D and the first Gran Turismo games. And the result is a very solid game. You can tune your vehicle and cosmetic options are plenty. You can even put vinyls on your car. Also, you can buy different sorts of tires to fit the track, you can buy dirt tires so that you have better traction on the dirt track, or you can buy tires that are more fitting to the rainy track. Anyway, mods on cars are plenty in this game, you can tune your vehicle in many sorts of ways. And the game looks good with its cell shaded graphics. And all of the tracks and all of the content shouts quality. Many reviewers hated the controls because it forces you to drift and while drifting you lose speed, but you can get used to the controls. Overall, it's a game I recommend you play. It's nice visually, it looks good even today, and by having so many customization options and so many cars to choose from, it's an awesome game, especially if you're an initial D fan. But even if you're not an initial D fan, you will still like the game, as it's a very solid and good racing game. Foreign 4 EVO 2 is an awesome game, don't let the graphics fool you. In this game you can ignore checkpoints, the race is won when you cross the finish line, and how you get to that finish line is up to you. This way the game encourages you to explore, find shortcuts and be creative, even get a free roam game mode, where you can offroad at your heart's content, and in this mode you can find the shortcuts needed to win races. Exploration isn't a must, you can win races just by racing. But it's fun to explore the surroundings and drive in the big tracks and find the shortcuts. The game has 30 courses and you get different weather conditions for those tracks. You can drive at midday or at dusk, you can drive on a clear day in various levels of fog and in rain. And when you put your own parameters for a race you can even put up to 20 laps a race. Also the game offers 120 vehicles. Now that's some crazy amount of content you get. And you can tune those cars, performance wise too. And the game doesn't revolve only around racing. In the career mode, you get tasks like search the desert for a Spanish church, deliver supplies to a remote Alaskan village. Overall, it's an awesome game that takes racing to other extents. I recommend you try it. It's awesome. ATV Quad Pole Racing is another great racing game. The price tag might be cheap, but the gameplay isn't. You can customize your character and then you get 15 great looking tracks to race on, the game has 20 characters, the handling physics are nicely done, it feels great to race around. And you can do air tricks too. The game has the usual exhibition and tournament game modes, but aside of racing you won't be doing much. But even so, the racing is really nicely done and it feels enjoyable. And content wise, the game still packs. I recommend it again. Cars is even more awesome. It's one of the most beloved tie-in games and not for no reason. You get free roam. You can roam Radiator Springs and its surroundings. And the map is huge for that time. And the gameplay is awesome too, for example when you race, you can steer in 4 different ways. You can brake and turn, you can power slide, you can handbrake and drift, or you can go on 2 wheels. And you don't just race, you get to play with different characters too and fulfill different tasks, like going with Mater to scare tractors, or chase down people as the sheriff, or collect tires as Luigi. And not only this. The game is chock full of content. You can race as a monster truck. You can have a derby with rusty cars. You can just chill in Ray Theater Springs, which is incredibly beautiful at night, by the way. All in all, the game is a masterpiece. It's a love letter to all the cars fans out there. Playing this game gives you a nostalgia trip for sure. And the good type of nostalgia trip, since the game, even for adults, it's pretty good. Try it. And Cell Damage is a car combat game that has the quality of Twisted Metal. The story in the game features a show called Cell Damage, where some outcasts from society get to battle with cars. 
The story keeps you hooked, but the main star of the game is the gameplay. The rule is simple, collect a power up and start hitting opponents. And in this simplicity lies the challenge too. It isn't that easy to align yourself to hit opponents, but it sure gets fun. And the art style of the game is appealing too, and the humorous animations, the game sure has charm. The number of arenas is kind of scarce, you get 4 arenas total in this game. The game starts with 5 characters and you can unlock 5 more, totaling a number of 10 characters. Overall the game is pretty good, as I said, it's twisted metal level kind of quality. So you can guess uh, that it's a great game. Ok, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, click the join button and choose one of the perks. You have the link to the join button in the description. Also, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord if you want. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.